Hey, what's up everybody? Other than collecting toys, myself and BP love to collect G-Shock watches. But with so many fake G-Shock watches in the market, we are trying to show you how you can differentiate fake versus an original in this video. First up, if you look at the packaging of a fake G-Shock box, they would not have the barcode or the sticker on the box itself as you can see here, right? And secondly, when you open up the box, check the manual because most of the time, the fake G-Shock watches, they will come with wrongly printed material, even the wrong instructions as you can see here. And the paper quality of the manual itself from the original is also a lot thicker and the print quality is much, much better and much more legible compared to the fake G-Shock manuals. Yeah? Now also very importantly, when you buy a G-Shock, you have to make sure that you check the manual but also very importantly, check for the warranty card because you have to check whether the watch actually comes from Marco there's a Marco warranty card because they are the sole distributor for Kessel products in Malaysia so if your watch does not come with this warranty card you better check the product before you buy Yeah. so what you're going to get with the card you actually get a one year warranty by default and if you register for e-warranty on the Marco's website you will actually get an extended 6 months warranty so man, that's great peace of mind if you ask me yeah, Big Pete yeah. First one is actually the Mudmaster GJ1000. So this watch actually has a lot of features with the compass and all these things. The first thing you will notice, the fake one actually has a golden bezel, which the original one does not have. I mean, all the series does not have that. Yeah, so if you see one wearing a gold bezel, people quickly identify you as wearing a fake G-Shock yeah, there. So it's very obvious for this one. Um, the material seems to be very similar, except for the printing side. Whereas for the printing side, the fake one has a bit of blurry off printing fonts and underlying, um, I mean, in between the space and all these things. So it's not too obvious, but then when you look closely, you can see it. Um, the next one here is the compass function. As you can see, the fake one does not even work. Um, whereas the original one works perfectly fine, where you can see the hand is pointing to the north direction. It works very good and very smoothly here. Another one that uh, I like to highlight is the buttons of the fake. The fake ones has a very loose button. So therefore, it has some gap there. When you actually go out to the field, right, uh, in the rain or in the mud, so you might get dirt and water into the product itself. Yeah, and that's why you shouldn't buy fake Mudmaster G-Shock. Yes. And lastly, it's actually the light function of the Mud Master. Um, the original uses a super illuminator LED, which is super bright, very, and very crisp and very clear. You can see everything in the dark. Whereas for the fake one, it's a very dim light that just only shines at the bottom of the, the face of the watch itself. Here's the comparison of the back cover. The fake one protrudes out more, and the original one is just flat. So it, it actually blends uh, the curve on your wrist nicely. Yeah, I mean, if the protruding back cover will actually make the you know wearability not very comfortable. You know, if you're gonna wear this watch for more than eight hours, uh, I would definitely not recommend it. So yes. I think that you really should not buy the fake Mudman if you ever see one. Even though it's cheap, I highly not recommend it. Next, we have the DW6009 series. This is a very simple watch with simple function. Well, of course, when you look at the fake one, it looks really close to the original one. Yeah. The only difference that you can see is the mold of the material. The original one has a much more cleaner and smoother uh, rubber so-called production. And then the fake one has all the rough edges and the fonts are not very nicely done. It's subtle but you can tell once you touch the actual fake and original watch you know. Yes. And we also run through the fake G-Shock through the water and as you can see on the left is the fake G-Shock and as you can see condensation already set in very very quickly. Yeah, we just ran it underwater, under shower. Yes. Yeah, I think water probably already leaked in so would you really want to pay so much money for a fake G-Watch and have water sip in? We probably think not, yeah? And of course finally here is the comparison of the light. On the right of case again is the original and the original lighting up effect is just so much brighter and it's blue versus the fake one is actually green and it's very very, very dim. dim. Yeah. It is very dim. We actually need to turn off all the lights just to film up the uh, light up effects of the fake one, yeah? And again, the back cover protrudes out very much and it's not really nice on the surface itself. 
Now, lastly, this is actually the G um, 110 series where a lot of people will start off with the collection of this because it comes up with all the different sorts of combination of colors. As you can see, the wash material, the plastic material, it's okay except for the back engraving. This is so much rougher than the original one. Yeah, the original engraving is very smooth, it's very subtle, yeah? Yes, it doesn't yes. look like the fake one where it's very rough. Alright, so in the front part, uh, you can see the gold paint is much more obvious and nicer in the original one Whereas the fake one uses just a bright yellow Yeah, it looks a lot more yellow than gold actually yeah. Here, I'm actually showing you, you can see the wordings of the description is actually a double image Because of the glass, it's not a good quality glass Yeah, the glass quality that they use for the fake one actually causes the font itself to appear as a double yeah, vision Yeah, like a reflective mirror uh, uh, visual itself this is again um, the fonts that you cannot really see clearly what are the description where the original one is so much clearer and finally the all important lighter effect the one on the right is of course the original as you can see it lights up the entire wash face very evenly but if yes, you look yes. at the one on the left the parted ones it only lights up at the bottom so you can't even hardly see what the time is prime, it yes yeah so that's pretty much wraps up our review of how to differentiate between a fake and original G-Shock and as you can see in terms of quality functions and features and paint job there's a lot of differences between a fake and the original mm -hmm. and I don't think it's worth your money to spend it on a fake one because number one if you're gonna wear this for eight hours on, on day's end it's not very comfortable because the back face is actually very protruding right secondly there's a lot of um, functions that are missing as well Mm -hmm. And if you are actually not sure whether you have bought a real or fake one, of course the pricing is a big, huge difference. The other thing is actually you can check it out is the actual the actual G Shock website, right? Look for the model, look for the color. You know, you got a smartphone. You know, everything you can save it, and then compare it with uh, the one that you're actually gonna buy. Yes, and as we detail out earlier, if you look at the packaging in terms of the box, there's actually a barcode. It also comes with a warranty card and also an official warranty card here locally as well with the local distributor, which is Marco. So that gives you the peace of mind if anything happens to your watch. You know, you can always go back to them for warranty services. Yes, so our message here is say no to fix. Yeah, I mean it may be cheap and tempting but in the long run it really is not worth it, right? Yeah. Just like the watch that we tried out earlier, this model, where we actually run it through, you know, shower or just going through a swim. It actually The condensation actually sets in very, very quickly. So it's not really worth the money for a fake one. So that's our review. We hope you enjoy this and if you can, always support original. Thank you so much for watching guys.